Welcome back to Quit Bunbury Speedway. You're watching the Cricky Boys Shootout preview show. Volunteers are the lifeblood of the Speedway. Without people willing to give their time, the place just wouldn't tick over. And the bloke you're about to meet is about as passionate and dedicated as they come. My, my wife said to me when I turned 40, she said, you're getting too old for it. Time to give it away. Well, I'm 81 now. <laughs> So something's kept him young, and I think that must be what it is. Behind every good man, they say, is a good woman. And that's where June Crombie's been every Speedway weekend for 52 years. Sitting on the sidelines while her husband waves the flags. So I have to keep an eye on him, don't I? <laughs> he might play up. Ironic, really, considering Don started volunteering at the Speedway to get a bit of bloke time. I got married in 1959 and I thought now hang on I'm not going to spend all my weekends at home I found out later that or not too long after I'd started my wife was a bigger petrol head than I was I used to go to Speedway and her the team before, he, before I started going out with him She watches, I play Don's rookie years as a flag waver were spent at the Manji go-karts before he graduated to the big league then, before he knew it, he clocked up half a century and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Bunbury Car Club. I've still got another 20 years to go, come on! <laughs> After 52 years at the Speedway, there's not much he hasn't seen. Over here is where the sprint car hit the wall and took out the lights in front of me and I just stood there like a stale bottle of beer. And not much he doesn't know. Most people know what that flag is. I don't, though. It's to start with. <laughs> OK, so it's green. the first, first flag you use yep. to be starting. Yep. White flag is your last lap flag. The red flag is stop immediately with safety. And your naughty boy flag. When they've done something wrong, they get yes. the white flag. Now uh, check a flag. The ones that all the drivers want to see. Yes, this is the one they all want to carry at the end of the race. Okay. Oh, Don's a great man. He, um, you know, one thing you never have to do is, is um, ask if he's organised, because a very, very organised man he is, you know. But this has never been a one-man show. Everything's got to be perfect, the hems have got to be levelled, everything's got to be right, he's very fussy. I iron my own duds, but she washes them. <laughs> to have Don in our team at our racetrack means so much, you know, and, he, and, he's, and the most number one person with him is his wife, you know, they're just beautiful people. A pair of faithful, hard-working cogs in the Speedway machine. A club that does not have volunteers, you don't have a club. All you've got is drivers. We love having them there and for many more years, so um, he's not going to get to rest either, so he's got to be there. What a pair of old petrol heads, but they're such a lovely couple, aren't they? They are. You know, it's people like Don and June that really are the heart and soul of the Speedway. Definitely. Now, over the years, the Cricky Boy Shootout has developed into a real blue ribbon event, attracting top drivers here and in the US. But at its heart, it's about a love of family and a celebration of two young lives. So the Cricky family have always been keen to support and encourage teams who use their racing to promote important causes. And for the Harding Racing Team, who have a partnership with suicide prevention agency One Life, a near disaster at Bunbury Speedway last weekend was a chance to demonstrate exactly what they stand for. Imagine being a sprint car driver. The speed, the fans, the fun, the chequered flag. It often looks like a one-man glory show, but it's when things go wrong that you start to appreciate just how much of a team sport this really is. Daniel Harding found out this week when he bent his car trying to qualify for the World Series Sprint Car a -Main. Now a mad rush starts. The pit crew are in a frantic race against the clock. They have about 20 minutes to rebuild the car. Bring that angle driver over. The car chassis is damaged and has to be welded and the entire front axle assembly has to be replaced. 
Other sprint cars are already being let out onto the track. It's now or never. Daniel's ordered back in the car, even though it's still up on jacks and doesn't have any front wheels. All the other sprint cars are out on the track and ready to start. They make it and just in time. Daniel went on to qualify for the A-Main thanks to the support, hard work and commitment of his crew. For the Harding Racing team and their major partner One Life, it's this teamwork and companionship which is so vital. The Hardings, like so many Australian families, have been touched by the heartbreak of suicide. I've uh, had close friends, people that I've looked up to and people who have looked after me who have taken their own lives over the last sort of between five to seven years. There's always someone that can listen, uh, there's someone that can, you, you can talk to um, and there's no need to go down that road. That's what this is about, there is people to help me through. Ahead on the Cricky Boy Shootout preview show, the shootout that almost fizzled out. All the drama from last year's race, plus ticketing info for this weekend.